Greetings one and all. How's everyone doing? This is my gear with the gear with the Aries pillow. Alrighty, so this is my year with the gear. I think I've used the pillow. It's actually been more than a year. It's been about two years, maybe longer. But uh, I feel like I've slept on it enough to be able to say I think this thing rocks. Okay, four ounces. In fact, let's let's make sure it's four ounces. All right. Four on the dot. So it'd be less without the sack. I doubt the sack weighs very much, but let's pull it out and check. Three point six. All right. Okay, so personally, I don't like sleeping in the outdoors without my pillow because I like to be comfortable. The material is nice and soft. Minus a little bit of dirt, but you know, I can live with dirt. It has two inflate parts. This, it, it actually fits inside, which is a really interesting design. But it has a two, one here and then one here. And what you do is you squeeze in the bigger one first and you can fill this up. It, does take, it takes almost nothing to fill this. Now that's nice and tight. You can feel, you can see that. Now what this, what this is, this is still open. So I can inflate it, but it doesn't lose air. And I just pop it back in. Easier said than done. Get in there. There we go. Sits like that. I just put my head here. Now I'm a side sleeper. So when I'm sleeping, you know, I want to be—I want to have my neck supported. Unfortunately, I'm on a gravel road that's kind of wet, so I don't really want to lay down and show you. But this thing is nice and big for my head, and I've had a good night's sleep with it every time I've used it. So I would say I would give it a 10 for 10 for great. Now it's not cheap. That's the thing. The kicker, kick in the ass, is not a cheap pillow. I believe, like regular price, it's like I think it's fifty or sixty dollars. Which, you know, I know that, that gets you that gets your attention. They're like sixty dollars, holy crap! Buy on sale, okay? When I bought mine, I went to REI during their. It was either Memorial Day or Labor Day, which Labor Day is coming up. And I bought this, so they had a store-wide sale of thirty percent off. And then I had an REI coupon because I'm a REI member for 20% off. So I get this at half price. So, you know, can't beat that. And I had a really, and I had really good, have had really good night's sleep on this. I mean, I, I don't think you can beat the weight. The weight is good. Four ounces. Yeah, that's nice and big too, and it's not a small it's not a small pillow for your head. I mean I have a fat head. I, I wear a large hat. You know, all my hats are large, so I got a big head. I like it. I, I don't like going in the woods without it now. Except when I did my camping on the cheap, I just pulled a pillow right off my bed, but that was because I was camping on the cheap. I did get this for half. You know, check on eBay, look for deals, look for sales, uh, Labor Day, Memorial Day, Christmas, whatever you can do to save money, I, I will highly support. I'm going to throw a link in the description, probably REI, so you can check out the stats, the dimensions, and the weight. If you want to double check the weight, uh, read the reviews. You know, if you want to buy it, pony up the money, you're not, I don't think you'll be, I don't think you'll be upset. I mean, I haven't been yet. And then to deflate it, all you gotta do is just grab it here and just lose all its wear. Now let's see if I can get it in the stuff set. Okay, so I usually just push the air out while it's down and fold up the other end, making sure I keep the air out of it. 
Hope you can see that. And then I just rolled up. And just make sure the air is out. Now I've had I've had to swear this thing into the bag, but you know. And other times I've just nailed it. So there we go. Nailed it. It has a little, uh, the bag has a little strap here, so you could put a carabiner, or it has the cord here, so you could hang it from a carabiner off the side of your pack if you wanted to. But I just throw it into a little pocket, or it fits in like a cook pot really well. Good stuff. <coughs> Alrighty. Let's see if I can get you a reverse view on the, a better view with another angle. So, let the air out. Flip it over. Fold. Fold. Then I just roll it up. You can kind of hear the air coming out of it when it gets like this. Then take your bag. There you go. I just tuck everything inside. And seal her shut. So there you go. All right. So there you go. The pillow. I think it rocks. Now, to address a, a, a com comment I received on the last video. I like using a stuff sack. Okay, cool. So here's a stuff sack. This is one shirt, one pair of socks, and one pair of underwear. If I'm just out for the overnight, I'll bring a change of clothes. Now when I go to, when I turn into my, when I turn in for the night, I always change my shirt and socks and underwear before I go to sleep because I've been running around the woods, I've been carrying firewood, I've been, you know, I'm, I'm running around everywhere. So what are you going to do with your clothes? Are you, going to, are you going to change your clothes in the morning? Or are you going to change your clothes just so you can avoid buying a pillow? Or are you going to just use stuff your dirty clothes in there and put your head on it? Now I've tried the stuff sack and I didn't really care for it. I didn't think, you know, clothing really isn't that comfortable to put your head on. Um, I've tried using folded up jackets and outer layers and they never stayed, in, they never stayed together and they're also not comfortable. But also, a lot of guys will spend $50 or more up to, I've seen guys spend up to $300 on a knife, but you won't invest in a pillow. I mean, really? Well, if that's your thing, cool. I mean, I'm not trying to sell you on it. I'm just showing it to you, telling you if I like it. And I like it. So, if you buy one, cool. If not, rock on. If the stuff sack works for you, cool. You know, rock on. So, just food for thought. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.